What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bob's Garage. Today we're washing the car in preparation for a cool Halloween project. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bob's Garage. This is the Halloween special. So what we have in store today, we're going to be using some dip pro uh, products. And we're actually going to be uh, applying a Halloween theme to the B5 S4. So stay tuned and uh, let's have some fun. All right, here we are behind the scenes with the B5 babe Melissa here. Hello. Oh. Yeah. And uh, what she's working on here is she's cutting out the stencils for the Halloween project. So this is going to be the kill chart on the driver front driver side door and the front passenger side door. So this is the first stencil and it looks like it's coming along. She says it's really small, but uh, I think it'll be good. It's not easy to cut out, but she's an animal. All right, here's what we're working with today. So this is my first time using Plasti Dip and we're gonna see how well this goes. This might be a, a disaster. So what we did was the B5 Babe Melissa cut out some stencils and uh, this is a little zombie guy. And we're going to be using some black Plasti Dip and uh, just some blue painter's tape just to hold the stencil in place. So this is just, uh, if you're not familiar with Plasti Dip, it's the same material that you typically would uh, coat your tools in, like the handles of your pliers or whatever. And it's just a rubber coating. It actually says that right there. And uh, it's removable. So this is all temporary. It's just going to be for the uh, Halloween season here, so another couple weeks or so. And I'll give you just a little preview to show that the car is completely clean here. And uh, so this is the before. And stay tuned for more. This morning we got the car washed and been sitting outside and it's kind of it's fall so we got a lot of leaves and, and crap falling from the trees so what I'm gonna do just as a prep is try to get some of the dust off the car so what I have here is just some spray on nano wax and the car already has a nice wax job on it so this is just kind of like uh, um, something I use in between full wax jobs so Basically, I'm just going to wipe down the area that we're going to be applying the Plasti Dip to. And we're going to first try this here on the driver's door and see how well this works before we do more. Okay. Before we go too crazy with it, we're just going to try some stencils and see how easy this is to work with, how hard it is. Okay. So the, the reason for wiping down the dirt and all that, that, that helps the Plasti Dip adhere to the paint just uh, a little bit better, as well as uh, it'll make it easier once we're done, it'll make it easier to remove the Plasti Dip. So like I said, this is just Eagle One Superior Nano Wax. You just spray it on and you can already feel how much cleaner and smoother it is just from that. What we're going to go with is a theme kind of similar to like World War II uh, days back when they, uh, the pilots would paint their kills on the side of the aircraft. And what we came up with was a little bit of a crosshair pattern here. And then we're going to do little zombies. So our kills will be the zombies. And we're, I just need to kind of figure out where to put this on the body here. It looked like there's kind of a little bit of a line that goes this way that's relatively straight. So, and this won't be perfect, and the whole point of it is to kind of, because it's Halloween themed and all that, is to make it look a little rough and, like, beat up, and it's going to look kind of like the, uh, like it's been spray painted on on purpose, or whatever, so. Alright, so, I didn't show it, but the back of this stencil has, um, it, it just has some, like, sticky tape on it, or whatever. Okay, now what I'm going to have to do is cut the camera, and I'm going to mask off further around here because this is, this is comparable to spray paint. So when I spray this, we're going to have a little bit of dusting. So I'm going to 
just mask off, maybe grab some newspaper or something, and mask off a little bit of a larger area. And then our zombies are gonna go over here. So I can already see this stencil's coming up. So I'm gonna have to come, uh, come up with some sort of other idea or something maybe. Or maybe just do without the centerpiece, but we'll see. All right, so here's a close-up view of the crosshair stenciled out. So these were basically just traced onto, this is a file folder that just holds like papers in a filing cabinet. And uh, then I just cut it out with like an X-Acto knife. And then, so I just taped it on there and masked around it. And let's see how this works. I'm not, this isn't really, the inner peat part here isn't really sealing well. So might have to just go without that and just spray paint this whole thing solid. So maybe that's the route I'll go. So the, uh, the plan that I had for this was to do like three coats. Three coats of black each. But uh, I don't know. That way I guess you usually do three coats. And then it allows you to remove, remove it when you're ready to do that. Okay. Wow. Alright, here we go. Okay, any more than that on one coat, I think it's going to start to run. And since it's on... Okay, here we are with coat number two. And I don't think I'm going to go as thick on this coat here. Okay, come back. Okay, coat number three, and I think this will be the final coat. And uh, they do say to shake the hell out of this. Uh, the directions on the can say to shake it up for a full minute. But uh, there we go. Okay. And that'll be it. Was our third coat and let's pull this off and see what they say Not so good, huh? Apparently we used a little too much. It was probably that very first coat. I used a little too much and it got underneath it. Okay, that's what we're looking at here. So, um, well, lesson learned. That was the first one of many. And, I don't know, this might actually go with the theme. The way that it's running down like that. So, we'll, uh, for the time being, I think I'm going to leave it as is and just let it dry a little bit more here.
Jurassic Coat. And that's it. So we're going to let it dry for a few more. Here we go. Final reveal here. I think you're supposed to still do it while it's a little wet. All right, second time's a charm. First one didn't go so well with the crosshair, but I'm pretty happy with the results. I'll be the first to say, um, it would have been a lot easier just to cut these out of vinyl stickers and just put a sticker on the damn car. So, um, probably would have taken more time to design it on a computer and then, or I, not, not more time, but it would have cost more. Vinyl's not cheap, but I mean, it, it's okay, looks okay. Looks decent. Okay, hey, here's what it looks like. Final. Um, this is after it's completely dried. It looks awesome. It looks really cool. It, it basically does look like vinyl. And you can see the detail. It's a little scratched up on the edges where I dug out the um, like the nose pieces and the eye pieces with the toothpick. And, but, I mean, this thing looks awesome. I'm trying to figure out what else to do. Oh, I also did this side here. So I did uh, thinner coats. I still did three coats. And I actually set a timer. So I just did about three minutes in between each coat. So I sprayed a light coat on, waited three minutes, and uh, before spraying on the next coat. So this is the first one that I did. And it it's not bad, you know what it's this little this dripping and stuff will actually go with my theme. So, you know, and it doesn't have to be perfect. But yeah, so I'm excited with how it turned out. But look at you can't really see it, but it's like a sinister looking matte black. Look at that. 